Hi, this is Pat Moorhead with More Insights and Strategy, and we're here for another More Insights and Strategy Insider Podcast. Uh, this week, I'm on with Lynn Lucas, Chief Marketing Officer of Cohesity. Lynn, how are you? I am doing great this morning, Pat, and thank you for having me on the show. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking a little bit of the green room, you know, uh, about your background. I love your background. It looks very cool. Uh, I've been using this uh, one that I'm using right now for about 900 episodes <laughs> of, of of the podcast. And I, I don't have background envy a lot, but yours is uh, yours is cool. Uh, well, thank you very much. You know, we all got uh, pretty creative during the, the pandemic. So we each got a couple of different ones. And maybe if I'm on the show another time, I'll uh, give you a view of the other one that I've got that I think is kind of cool. Yeah, we'd love to have you on again. So Cohesity is a company on the move, uh, brand new CEO, revised positioning, uh, a lot of partnerships that we're seeing. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. And uh, Cohesity is a company right in the middle of, of data security and management. And uh, there is a lot of heat and light in that space, quite frankly, because uh, we have nation state budgets for hackers. I mean, Anytime you see something as a service, you know something is hot. And we literally go on the dark web, hacking as a service. Here's the data uh, that we have. But uh, they have not uh, yet met co Cohesity yet. Um, a lot of customers have, though, and that's a good thing. So you are coming into um, conference time. You know, I joke uh, as industry analysts, uh, we're professionals in some areas, but we are professional event attenders, too. Uh <laughs> Uh, on-site, face-to-face, virtual events, uh, everything. I probably do two to three events a week. So, uh, and Cohesity has their event, premier event called Cohesity uh, Catalyst, uh, May 23rd to the, the 25th. And, you know, I've seen the agenda. I've seen the speakers you've lined up for the event. And I think people who are in the data management space would be crazy not to attend. And I'm sure you agree uh, 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 with that. Maybe you don't, but it's okay for you to tell me if you don't. But hey, can you talk about uh, Cohesity Catalyst uh, and talk about why, you know, the importance of it to the industry, uh, to, to your customers, and also very, very timely? Oh, absolutely, uh, Pat. And thank you. Uh, the industry is in really dire need of a conference that brings both data security and data management together. Yeah. Because what we're seeing, and you've brought this up with the nation state attackers and, you know, as well as insider threats. I mean, there's just a huge range of threats that today's organizations face. You know, the stat is 19 ransomware attacks on average every second. You need to bring these two worlds together. And then we complicate that with the fact that organizations are hybrid cloud, they're multi-cloud. So how does an organization excel in data security, data protection, in a hybrid multi-cloud world, and now you have AI coming into this mix, which is so exciting, but also is probably gonna bring some of its own challenges. The team has been working tirelessly to get the industry luminaries that can help educate and explain what's going on and where are these trends going. We have two amazing keynotes. We have more than 20 breakout sessions, and we're going to be highlighting the latest technologies that can help businesses address all of these challenges, win this war against ransomware, and really start to think about how can I bring AI and ML in new ways to my business. It's going to be a fantastic educational set of sessions. And we do hope that both executives and the practitioners attend because we think everyone can get something out of this. Yeah, I, I checked out your agenda and you really do have some heavy hitters uh, attending. You know, first off, uh, Jen Easterly, director of CISA, uh, which is short for Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. Uh, Kevin Mandia, CEO of Mandiant. Um, and, you know, first of all, uh, you know, as I said in, in the in the run up here, uh, one of the hallmarks of a um, 
uh, of your fearless uh, leader, Sanjay Poonin, is about, about partnerships. And you've been building out uh, a tremendous ecosystem, big names, important names, security partners that um, I think strategically has you leapfrogging a lot of the competition. Are we going to hear more about that ecosystem at, uh, at Catalyst? Uh, absolutely. And, and thank you for bringing that up. You know, six months ago, uh, with Sanjay's leadership, we were the first to announce uh, this data security alliance. And just to say a word about that, that is Mandiant, it's CrowdStrike, Tenable, Palo Alto Network, Splunk, Big ID, and many others, because our philosophy, unlike others in the industry, is that we believe it takes a village to defeat the threats that are out there today. This is a team sport. And so we absolutely believe that Cohesity combined with the Data Security Alliance, there is no better team that you want to have on your side. And we can help together solve some of these cyber threats. So we are absolutely going to be discussing what we're doing and there will be some new announcements uh, coming from us with some of our partners. So we're going to want folks to tune in and Definitely don't want to miss the keynotes and the insights with Sanjay and Kevin Mandy and Jen Easterly, as you said, two of the industry's premier cybersecurity experts. I don't think uh, we've seen in our industry a conference that has this kind of caliber of cybersecurity expertise on day one. Yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to all that, and in particular, the the progress that you have been making with your with your ecosystem. And it really does take a village in in security. I mean, there's east to west you have to look at, there's north, south, and uh, I, I, I really like the idea of sharing data. And it might seem simple, but you do have some people who want to hoard the data, uh, not share, because they want to win it all. And the reality is uh, there are no winner take all uh, markets uh, out there and it takes people getting along and in alignment, I think, to properly secure uh, countries and, and and enterprises. A little bit editorial I threw out there. Hope you don't mind. But uh, that's no, kind of where, where, where my head is on this. You're absolutely right. And and I just add to that editorial, you know, working with some of the largest financial services organizations in the world, you know, Cohesity has uh, the great honor to serve uh, eight of the top 20 U.S. banks. Uh, they work very closely sharing, as you said, information with each other and with the federal government organizations like CISA, because this is not an area where you want to go it alone. Definitely. And again, speaking of partnerships, uh, I watched your recent uh, announcement with Microsoft and I thought that was was really awesome. And, and so was the IBM one. Uh, uh, for Azure, I was really intrigued um, that, that you also mapped out your vision for AI. And I got to see uh, one of the demos and it was it was pretty awesome even, even i got it okay and i'm not sitting at the end of a CIA security cli right it was something that, that that i understood and i consider that uh, a, a win and it was essentially how cohesity was integrating with azure's uh, open ai service really groundbreaking stuff can we expect to hear more about uh, that strategic alignment or, or more about cohesity and AI at Catalyst? Because I know everybody wants to know about it. And quite frankly, it's not just because it's the meme, but because if, if, if the bad guys are using AI, your customers, I think, would want to know how cohesity is using AI to thwart uh, the bad guys. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, on that theme there, you know, I'll say that uh, it, you know, one of the points that Charlie Bell uh, in his conversation with Sanjay made is that AI has the opportunity to tip the balance back in the favor of the IT organization. You know, right now, you know, they really are outnumbered. Uh, you know, I have a customer who's going to be speaking at uh, Catalyst, uh, Fortune brand, and 
he talks about how right now he feels like his daily job is he's got one arm behind his back. Right. He's got one hand on the steering wheel. He's driving uphill on an icy road at night with the snow coming down and he's got to get from point A to point B and survive. And that's uh, by the way, I'm envisioning that and it's, it's not a good scenario. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I think many, many IT leaders, as I speak to them, feel that way. They don't know when the threat's going to happen. They don't know who it is. They've got so many potential people coming after them. And AI really has the opportunity to shift that balance back in the favor of the good guys, us, those that are trying to protect our data, our customers' data, our employee data. So Cohesity has been using ML and AI techniques for quite some time in our platform. Our leader, Moet Aaron, the founder of the company, the chief technical and product officer now, he built that in very early to give customers data and information about the platform operationally. Now, as you said, with what we demonstrated with Microsoft, we can take that even farther with these new models RAG um, as uh, the acronym I'm learning. Um, and what we are doing is only scratching the surface. So you're really going to want to tune in because I can promise that we'll have some new innovations that we're going to be highlighting, uh, you know, to show, hey, in the event of the breach, what more could I, AI do for me? Or beyond that, most customers are still struggling with what do I have in all this data? Could I be using it in a better way to serve my organization? And I think you'll see some new innovations there too. I mean, especially, I mean, generative machine learning and security was one thing, but generative AI and security takes it to a completely different level. And in every, every uh, one of these public cries of, Hey, let's put the, you know, let's put the brakes or, or let's slow this thing down. A lot of it comes down to security, which is if companies aren't ready with hardcore AI solutions, uh, there may not be a way to slow this down. And then in parallel, right, it's there's quantum safe. There's just all of these things that you you customers need to think through. So I'm glad you're going to roll. Talk about this more. Talk about what you're doing. Talk about what's uh, what's on the roadmap. Yeah. Yeah. And if I add one more comment, you know, I think Cohesity was the first to demonstrate this RAG yeah. on our platform. The other thing that folks should know is that our platform was uniquely designed by Moet to be ready for this technology. We're going to dive deeper into why that is and how we keep it safe, because you right. just touched on it again, security. And there is always the need to design security in. We say it's built in, not bolted on, right. especially as we add these AI capabilities. So that will all be part of our session at Catalyst. Can't wait. Say, so, hey, let's uh, pivot to, which I, is one of my favorite topics to talk about, and that's the hybrid multi-cloud. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, this was a couple of years after I started my firm, I was very clear that the future is hybrid. The future is we will be using multiple clouds. Uh, some of them will be public. Some of them will be on-prem. Uh, and you need to even contemplate it uh, on the edge. And I'm not right uh, with everything as an analyst, but I feel like I get the important stuff right. Uh, but the future clearly is uh, hybrid multi-cloud. I talked to an end, end enterprise uh potentially one of your customers, at least weekly. And I have yet for any of them to say, we only have one IaaS provider. It just doesn't happen. Everybody has multiple IaaS providers. And of course, you know, if you're a business that's over 10 years old, you likely have infrastructure that's on-prem uh, uh, as well. So uh, Cohesity is all in on multi-cloud and giving customers choice. But you're really taking this to a new level. You have strategic relationships with AWS, uh, and Amazon has even invested in your company, <laughs> which is which is cool. Uh, and you're extending this relationship with Azure, which we we talked about, uh, to really new levels with uh, with AI. And you have a relationship with with Google. 
you're also great in the private cloud, right? In the spirit of hybrid multi-cloud. Can you give us a sneak peek as to what we might hear about with respect uh, to the cloud? And if, you know, if you want to, you know, let all your announcements loose here on the show, uh, uh, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I can quite do that because my PR lead would probably <laughs> frown upon that and I want folks to tune in. So, but you hit the nail on the head here, Patrick, right? You know, from the very beginning, uh, Cohesity has had a platform that spans this world of on-prem and cloud, and not just one cloud, as you said, but multi-cloud. I mean, there's been multiple studies. Most organizations have uh, six, seven uh, different types of cloud services minimum that they're using. And especially for the large enterprise, they're going to stay in this hybrid cloud world because they've got some things that make more sense to stay uh, in their own data center while some absolutely are moving or have already moved to the cloud. They want choice. They want choice in terms of not just today, what do I have in on-prem or the cloud, but as my business changes, I want that flexibility. And that's one of the unique things that Cohesity's architecture and platform has always been able to do is give customers that seamless ability to manage their data and really abstract where is it. And it doesn't really matter. Now, you mentioned this. We have AWS, Google, Azure. We have been multi-cloud from the very early days. And you are going to see two of the world's biggest private cloud CEOs on stage day two. I don't think this has ever happened. So the CEO of VMware, Ragu, and the CEO of NetApp, George Kurian. So... Our mission is to ensure that we have the best ecosystem, private cloud, public cloud, multi-cloud, wherever customers are, Cohesity will be. And we'll be making some exciting announcements. Again, I can't say what those are uh, with some of those companies on day two. So we're going to want folks to stay tune in. I, I mean, you told me all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but with I want to know the details, so I'm definitely uh, gonna 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 tune in. That's gonna be a fun. That's gonna be a fun stage uh, video. I can't can't wait uh, can't wait to watch that for for a lot of reasons. So uh, you have some of the biggest uh, end customer brands at at Catalyst that you're gonna bring on. I, I saw Delta nationwide. Um, obviously, you've got an, uh, we talked about an alliance that you have with IBM, VMware, Broadcom, NetApp, and, and the list, uh, you know, goes on and all real all star, all stars in their in their respective categories. Uh, why do you think they've chosen to speak at this conference? And listen, you know, I used to have a real job for for 20 years where, you know, I had to, you know, get people on my stage. And the level of those people and the amount of time and what they say is a good indication of how they view your company strategically too, as well. But will there be some sort of a common thread uh, between all of these uh, big brands? Well, hey, I think, and thank you. I mean, I, as the marketing leader, I always feel that customer voice is the most important thing that I can bring out uh, to the rest of the market because that speaks volumes about yes. the trust and the confidence that organizations have in Cohesity. And as you noted, these Fortune 100, Fortune 500 brands, that is not a common occurrence. Um, and I think, you know, the common theme really is these organizations have seen what Cohesity is doing to shake up, to really disrupt the legacy data protection, data management, and they like it. They like our simplicity, security, and scalability 
uh, and that we're rewriting the old playbook. You know, this part of the industry is the last to be disrupted when you think about the IT stack over, uh, you know, the course of the last 10 years and companies that have come in and really changed the game and disrupted. And that's what Cohesity has been doing uh, for the last five, seven years. So one of these common threads is that we also are bringing them consolidation, automation, simplicity, and that is huge as we've seen the ransomware threat, as you said, you brought up earlier in the show, come on board. These organizations can't afford to have all of these siloed products, which increases their attack surface just because of all the different places that someone could get in, not to mention many of the legacy products were designed prior to today's really advanced cyber threats. So I think that's the theme you're going to hear, uh, that they are getting tremendous return on investment in terms of simplifying, keeping their organization safer, and then enabling with our platform this future, maybe involving AI, to help them get more out of their data. Yeah, it. like I said at the top, I mean, this area of data management and security, there's so much heat and light here. For, for obvious reasons. I think we got to a point where, and every market goes through this, where you quote unquote have best in breed that IT has to stitch together, okay, to, make, to, to create a solution. And then what happens is it takes so much time to do the integration that, you know, you're on the, you know, you're three or four revs behind of what the current code is. Uh, so you're really not more secure and it's certainly not best of breed. And secondly, that integration many times creates its own security hole that, that, that people can get through. And that's why you see a lot of companies trying to simplify the way that they, they do this. And right now, they, their options are a bunch of point products that they can stitch, uh, that they can stitch together, some that only support on-prem, some only support the public cloud. Uh, but I think you really have a unique uh, place where you support the hybrid multi-cloud and you uh, are, 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 it's not just a point product. You're, you're securing it multiple ways. And we're bringing that ecosystem back in. And I think that right. too, to scale. Is, it's a yeah. common thread. You know, you think again about some of the leaders in the Data Security Alliance, at Palo Alto, at CrowdStrike, at Tenable. These are the world-class solutions that these same organizations have. They yeah. want the solutions to work together to bring their data security strategy together with the rest of their security strategy and have it work seamlessly. And that's what we're doing. I'll be honest, you know, when Sanjay uh, laid out the, the ecosystem and the data sharing alliance, uh, I, I was surprised, right? But I was surprised, but I wasn't because it's classic Sanjay uh, working, uh, he's trusted uh, individual, uh, but it's hard to get competitors on 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 the same page. And you know, again, you, there's a lot of security uh, real estate north to south and then east to west, but it's still hard to get uh, those companies on board and quickly. So hats off uh, uh, to the company. Yeah, and I think that again, a real credit to Sanjay with his relationships. And also coming back to, though, that the industry coming together, because although some of them may be compete in some areas, yeah. the bigger mission is let's protect really our way of life in some cases um, and defeat these awful criminals uh, that are coming after our personal data, our healthcare data, really our livelihoods, our infrastructure. That is a big, big mission that we can all get behind. Yeah, thanks, Lynn, for like reel, reeling me back in on the kind of why we really are here. And you you are exactly right. Um, you know, wars are, are, are still fought by Big Iron, but uh, they're increasingly being fought uh, electronically through cybersecurity. Uh, I wanted to end this uh, gr amazing conversation. I could sit, sit on here for, for hours and, and chit chat with you, but I'm going to give you the last chance to spill all the news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm an industry analyst, not a news organization, but uh, I, I think it's funny. But no, can, can you talk maybe directionally about the type of announcements that you're going to be making next week? You, you alluded to some, 
with some of your hybrid cloud partners. Uh, you did talk about, you know, we're going to talk more about our AI vision and the reality of what we're doing there. Yeah. Well, uh, I know that, uh, you know, everyone would like to know ahead of time, but I'm really going to ask folks to, to tune in. I promise they're going to see amazing speakers like have never been gathered before we've talked about. Uh, but what I would say is that you've seen Cohesity really innovate in this industry, and we are going to take that even farther forward. We've been moving so fast in the last six, eight months, and the themes are going to be the same because the challenges still remain. How do we continue to advance data security in a multi-cloud world? And how do we bring AI to bear with that? So that's what folks are going to hear on two great days of keynotes and fantastic deep dive breakout sessions for those that are really operating and using and deploying the, the solution. Uh, and we're gonna hear from these big brands. We're gonna hear from our data security partners, our ecosystem partners. It's going to be very informative and folks are gonna be able to leave and the following Monday really put some new learnings and things into practice in their own organizations. So we're really looking forward to it and hope to have uh, all of your viewers and yourself be there and, and stay tuned for those announcements. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to it as well. And again, I think, you know, I'm galvanized uh, right now that, you know, if you're any way involved in data security or data management, you'd be crazy not to attend uh, this event. Uh, not only for what Cohesity brings to the table, but also for your your partners and your customers that are going to get up on stage and talk about uh, what what they're doing and, and the way that they're approaching security, if nothing else, uh, getting some best practices uh, out of this. So thanks for coming on. And, and, you know, Lynn, we hope to have you on again. Well, thanks, Pat. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I would love to talk to you again and hope to be back on the program. Thanks again. Good luck with the uh, the show. Thank you. This is Pat Moorhead with more insights and strategy, uh, signing off for another insider podcast where we have the most important executives from the most relevant companies uh, in the industry. Uh, check out uh, Cohesity Catalyst, May 23rd to the 25th. We will be tuning in. Uh, we'll have bells on uh, as well. And we'll also have some uh, post-event coverage as well. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on the planet. Thanks for tuning in.